money, I ain't tryna wait. I can't be fucked with no hoe. You can't touch this, hey. Bitch, I do rich shit, huh? My money thick, hey. Ay, walk with a limp, limp, huh? I'm on some pimp shit, hey. He say you all about money, yeah. I'm on that cash shit. Hey y'all, it's me Slay by Jordan and today I'm going to be showing you guys a detailed frontal sewing. Now the hair we are using in this video is provided by Lumiere Hair. They sent me some loose wave hair. Inside the packaging you will receive your wig caps, flexi rods, and hair bands. They sent me over 3 bundles of loose wave, 28, 26, 24, with a 20 inch lace frontal. Now I'm going to go ahead and say off rip that loose wave is not one of my favorite textures from any company honestly um i worked with loose wave hair over the years and it's just not a personal favorite of mine um this hair did give me um some tangling and some shedding but overall it was some decent hair it wasn't the best but it wasn't the worst so now i'm going to go ahead and break my client's hair down we're going to start first you want to go ahead and section out a middle part in the client's head, whether they're gonna be wearing their fronts on the middle part, side part, you know, half up, half down, whatever. You wanna make sure that you have your middle part set in there. So if they decide that they want a middle part, that is flat in that area. And for our braiding pattern, we'll be braiding the hair straight back and connecting each braid into the next one. But for your first braid, to make sure your frontal sewing is secure in the back, you want to braid it straight back and across the nape. And now you're going to take your other braid on the other side and you're going to braid that straight back and we're going to connect that braid that we took across the nape into that braid that way you have a secure foundation and once you get done braiding the entire head you will only have one loose end the less loose ends you have the more flatter your braid pattern will be So now that we're done braiding, we're going to slick her edges back and get them out the way. I like to use the yellow um, Got To Be Glued Spiking Glue Gel to slick the edges out the way. You can also use the black one, but the yellow one is more stronger and it works better on hair like my clients that is very resistant. So what you do, you're going to put it on the edges and you're going to take a brush or a comb and you're going to brush them back. And then you're going to take your blow dryer on cool or warm, whatever is you know comfortable for you and your client. And you're just going to slick those edges back out the way. Now with every full extension or wig service, you want to make sure that your client's scalp is moisturized. This will help stop itching and promote hair growth. Now make sure you don't get the oil so close to the hairline because the oil will lift the frontal, but please still moisturize your client's scalp. It is a must. Now we're going to take our new stocking cap and put it over the client's head. You want to make sure that it is entirely covering the hairline and the ears. Now it's best to use a cap that better matches the client's skin, but if you can't use a lighter cap and we can just um, tint it with the makeup later on. 
So first, what I'm going to do is, y'all already know, I'm going to sew down my stocking cap just so it doesn't shift um, while I'm doing the frontal sewing. So now people ask why we um why stylists always cut the ears out. Um, I got this method from Glamazante. We cut the ears out so the cap can be melted on the side as well because at first when we used to do it where we would keep the cap over the ears, it wouldn't be so um secure. So yeah, that helps with that. So now I'm gonna take the black got to be glue gel, the um, ultra glue gel, and we're gonna um carve out with that gel the shape of the hairline. And now we're gonna go over that with our freeze spray. You wanna make sure that this freeze spray does not drip and that is only spray on the part that you just carved out with the gel. Wherever the freeze spray and the gel get is where the cap will stay. And if you try to, um, if a part of the cap gets stuck down and you don't want it after they um, come up under the dryer and you try to peel it back and it's close to the hairline, it will peel off their edges with it. So, only put the um, gel in the freeze spray exactly where you want it to. And I'm gonna cut that thick band off her eyes so she can be more comfortable and she will go up under a dryer on high for about 15 to 20 minutes. You wanna make sure that this cap is fully dry because if not, when you cut it off, it will peel back. Now that you see, you know, I used a lighter cap, we're gonna take our two makeup foundations, you know, mix it together to try to get it to better match your skin tone. And as you can see, I am beating that foundation because it is nothing really in there. But you know, I made it work. And then we're just gonna take our um, makeup brush. I don't know what kind of brush that is. I'm not a makeup artist, y'all, but um, you're just gonna um, put that makeup on the cap. And you're also gonna put that makeup um, on the underside of the frontal to tint the lace on the frontal as well. And you'll see that in just a second. As you can see, I'm putting that same mixture um, on the underside of the frontal. And after you do that, you want to take your freeze spray and you want to spray it on there. This does two things. For one, it locks the makeup in place so the makeup, you know, doesn't move or anything. And number two, it makes the um, lace not be so oily. Remember, I told you guys, oil and lace fronts do not mix. So, you know, makeup has oils in it. So you want to make sure that you can remove as much oil as possible. And with the free spray being a hairspray, it locks things in place. So, yeah, that's why we use the free spray. And after I applied that makeup, I made sure that I blow dried that frontal. So now we're going to go ahead and cut off the excess cap. And y'all, you have a better... um stocking cap application when you put the makeup on when the extra cap is still on the client's head when you cut off the excess cap and then you try to put the makeup on there you get a lot of makeup on the hairline and then you have to do more cleaning with the alcohol and you know alcohol is very drying to the skin so the less alcohol you can use the better because although we want that hair laid we still want to make sure that that skin is protected And as you can see, I took some more makeup just because the edges of my cap um, didn't have enough makeup on it. And now to uh, make sure the edges of the cap are um, fully smoothed down into the skin, I'm gonna take my freeze spray and spray it on the edges of the cap and use my blow dryer on high. And that'll definitely melt that cap right on in. So if you're having problems with your um, the edges of your cap not sticking down, just take some freeze spray and a blow dryer and that should definitely help you. So now we're going to clean and protect the skin. I'll be using 91% alcohol after I um, apply the alcohol with the cotton round or a cotton pledge. Um, 
you're gonna blow dry it on cool make sure that's fully dry and then you're gonna take your um boho skin protect and you're gonna spray that on a cotton round as well apply it to the skin and then blow dry it on cool And people always ask why we use um, skin protectants. You have to understand that this piece of material is gonna be on your skin for a while and your skin is not gonna be able to breathe. And also that you are using adhesive. So you wanna make sure that your skin is protected because this glue is strong. If this glue can put a whole piece of material on your head and let it stay, then it can definitely damage your skin. So you wanna make sure that you're protecting your skin. And I know some people have a lot of problems with positioning the frontal, so I'm gonna try to explain this as best as I can. At first, I place the frontal in the middle of the head and I position it exactly where I want the middle of the frontal in the front to lay. Then I go ahead and lay the sides down. I make sure that the hairline of the frontal is in front of the cap. Okay, and now as you can see, the back is not flat. So what I then do, I tell her to let one of the sides of her hand go and I position that back very flat. I pull on it and I go down and I make sure that is flat and that is in front of the hairline. Then I do the same on the other side. I um, start pulling the frontal down in the back and I work my way all the way down to the ear and make sure that is flat. And I make sure that the front, you know, the whole hairline is in front of the cap. And that way your frontal will be flat. You wanna make sure that the back is flat, number one. So now I'm gonna go ahead and sew down the back of the frontal. I start in the middle and I sew down one side. And once I get done, I'll go back to the middle and sew down the other side. This way that this ensures that your frontal is flat across the entire head. If you work your way from one side to the other, you, you run the risk of having bubbles in your frontal. And when you have bubbles in your frontal, um, you can't part your hair everywhere. You can't style it everywhere you want it to because it's not laying as flat as it's supposed to be. Now, like many of us, we definitely have struggled with cutting the ear tabs off. I've learned over the years to make a part in the exact shape of the ear, even if you have to feel for it, and you cut that right off. You don't want to leave any excess lace around the ear because your frontal will not lay down. You have to cut your ear tabs out for the frontal to be customized to your exact head. And if I didn't mention it earlier, which I think I did not, this frontal did come pre-plucked, but I went ahead and bleached the knots off camera and plucked the hairline some more. And as you can see on her left side, which from the camera would be y'all right side, I did over bleach those knots, but you know what? I'm gonna finesse that in the end. You won't even be able to tell. So keep watching. So now we're gonna go ahead and apply our layers of glue. Y'all already know I use Boho Active. I've been repping it for the longest. This is my favorite glue because it dries fast and it gives the strongest hold that I have used. Um, I apply it in dots and I smooth it out with my popsicle stick. You want to make sure that you smooth this glue out as flat as possible because if you do not, it will leave white dots. And white dots comes from the glue being clumpy and not fully spread it out. And if you lay your lace down while you have those white dots, um, it will show under the lace. So make sure that you smooth the hairline out and make sure before you put glue on anything that you clean it with alcohol or astringent. So now I'm going ahead and sewing those tracks in. Boy, am I moving fast. <laughs> My fingers be gone, but yeah, I'm just playing. Anyway, you want to make sure you sew that, um, that back track under the braid. And you just want to keep going from left to right and when you get to your corners um make sure that you sew that corner you put a couple of stitches in it just so it lays flat you don't want any humps now i'm going to go ahead and pop my second layer of glue um 
I used a total of four layers of glue on this install. I just used four because I know my client is a little rough on hairdos and I want to make sure that her frontal stays secure for as long as it possibly can. But you can definitely get away with two to three layers. And to go ahead and save you all some time while your layers of glue are drying, go ahead and um, sew your tracks in the back. Instead of waiting for all of those layers to dry and then laying the frontal down and then proceeding to um, sew the tracks in, you can go ahead and get some tracks sewed in that'll help you save time and you can get your clients in and out, honey, okay? So now I'm going to bring the camera in closely so you can see how I um, fold the tracks over and move to a um, a move to a new row. I just fold it over as flat as I can and I make a couple stitches on that very um, edge and I keep sewing on. So now that my fourth layer is dry, we're going to go ahead and take those tracks in the back and we're going to put them out the way because you know I tied out my frontals as I laid them down. And you want to move fast because boho active dries fast and if you let the glue dry out, your frontal will lay down but it will not be secure and it will start shifting back on you. So make sure when that glue turns clear that you lay that frontal down. So what I did is I... um. I took the frontal out of the clip and I brushed it out and now we're just going to lay that um, lace right into the glue. And once we get done laying it into the glue, you're going to take your elastic band. Um, I learned this method from Beautiful Hustler here on YouTube. That elastic band will definitely, you will see it y'all, it's going to melt that lace in there. It's going to melt it in there. Now this elastic band is tight, so you know. You want to hurry up and, you know, sew the tracks on the back for your client because it is kind of uncomfortable because it is tight as hell. Excuse my language. But yeah, it definitely gets that lace melted way better than a head wrap. So now after that band is tied down, we're gonna go ahead and proceed um, with um, sewing the rest of the tracks on the client's head. So now that everything is done, we're gonna take the elastic band off. And as you can see, that was such a relief for my client. <laughs> but like I tell you guys, it is tight, but it definitely melts that lace in. And trust me, your client won't mind their lace looking extra laid, okay? Okay. So now what we're gonna do is just brush out all those um, loose waves. Um, like I told y'all in the beginning of the video, I'm not a big fan of loose wave hair. So I'm going to go ahead and blow dry that texture out because we're going to go in and put my own loose waves in with the one curl. And you'll see that later on in the video. So what I took was some Tresemme Keratin Smooth Spray and I sprayed it all over the hair. And I'm going to take my blow dryer with my comb attachment on and my dimming brush. And we're just going to smooth out that hair as um, straight as we can get it.
So now we're gonna go ahead and cut off that um, excess lace. Um, I like to use my um, eyebrow razor and use my shears when needed. Make sure you use a fresh eyebrow razor because they're gonna give you a um, cleaner and faster cut. We use the old eyebrow razor. Um, it just don't be doing right. Just use you a fresh new eyebrow razor, girl, and it's gonna be so wonderful for you. Okay, Lace, I see you coming through, giving the natural vibes. Okay, okay, okay. So I ain't gonna proceed to do that on the same, um, not the same side, on the other side as well. And as you can see, that lace is melted. So now to um, cover that last track in the back, you already know I take a piece of the frontal and I use my Kara Kara Wax stick and my hot comb and I just um, hot comb that down to cover the tracks in the back because this is a frontal sew-in. And now we're going to use that same method to um, to lay our middle part in the hair. And once we get done hot combing that down, we're going to um, comb each side back and put it behind the ear. And then we're going to proceed to do our baby hairs. Today I want to give you guys, a, um, we'll show you guys an easier method to lay the baby hairs than with the mousse. This way you um, can save time and you don't have to put your clump on the dryer. So yeah, what you're going to do, you're going to part out a thin rock across the entire hairline of the frontal. Then you're going to hot comb the hair down. Now why we hot comb the hair down is because um, sometimes when laying the baby hairs with gel, um, you be slicking them in the place that you want them to go. But they really don't be trying to sleek sometimes. So go ahead and hot comb the hair. You know, go ahead and tell the hair what way it's going to be going. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> but make sure you do not burn your client's face. Because they are going to be so mad. And a hot comb burns like burns, honey. Okay? So be careful with this.
And then we're gonna take our eyebrow razor and we're gonna cut the baby hairs about, i say one inch, maybe one and a half inch, you know, just whatever you're feeling. And then we're gonna take our um, She Is Bomb Collection Bomb Goo. I got put onto this by um, So Star here on YouTube. Y'all, I watch everybody hair videos. Like, all I do is be on YouTube watching hair videos. Like, it's crazy. You can learn so much from YouTube, y'all. So yeah, I'm gonna take my um, She Is Bomb Collection Bomb Goo and then I'm gonna take my um, comb and we're just gonna start sticking those baby hairs into place. And while I love the bomb goo, as I've stated in um, previous videos, the bomb goo, unlike other gels, it dries fast, y'all. And that is a must because sometimes these baby hairs do not be trying to be laid and you need a gel that is going to lay down fast for you.
And now once we get done laying those baby hairs, we're gonna take our free spray and our blow dry on cool and we're just gonna lock those into place. And as you can see, there is some shiny parts on her baby hairs. In the end, we'll take some alcohol and a cotton round and we'll just clean that off. And now that we're done with our baby hairs, we're gonna go ahead and smooth back the front. So um, we're going for a middle part, you know, slick back type of look. So we're gonna go ahead and hot comb and make sure everything on that front is flat. And then we're gonna take our free spray again, and then we're gonna comb the hair and position in place, and then we're just gonna blow dry it. And now to give the hair a um, smooth, silky feel and to also protect it from the heat, we're going to take our Beyond the Zone um, Smooth Criminal and we're going to put that all over the hair. You just need one pump because this serum is very thick and you do not want to make your hair oily. So now I'm going to go ahead and split the hair down the middle and work on one side at a time. And as I told y'all in the beginning of the video, I'm going to put my own loose waves in the hair. So I'm going to take a one curler and take um, about medium to big size sections. I'm just going to twist the hair as I wrap around the um, iron. I'm going to hold it for about 10 seconds. And then um, before I let it drop, I'm going to let it, um, I'm going to smush it in my hand just to cool it down a little bit because gravity um, pulls down on the hair. And if you take it off the rod while it's still hot, as it cool, it's going to cool down in that, um, in that very very loose state and you don't want that you do want some curl definition most definitely so we're gonna do this all over the head and then we'll come back when we're ready to um comb the hair out So now to fix those over bleach knots and um, define the part of the hair, we're going to take our Salon Graphics High Beams Intense Temporary Hair Color Spray in the number 20, which is jet black. And we're going to take our comb, we're going to lay it directly in the middle where the part is. You're going to put some pressure on it and you're going to spray that spray at a distance. And it's going to give you a more defined and clean part. Now make sure you do not spray this close to the baby hairs because it will fuck up everything. Excuse my language. But I remember a girl in my comment said she did this same, um, is that method with a black spray and then she got black everywhere yes y'all you have to spray this at a distance and um you cannot spray it close to the baby hairs because it will mess up your entire hard work so be very careful with this 
So now I'm gonna take my Beyond the Zone turn up the heat spray. I'm gonna spray it all over the hair. And then we're gonna run our fingers through the curls and boom, that's my take on loose waves. I thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and sharing, and subscribing. We're over 80,000 subscribers at this point, and I'm just so grateful and thankful for you all. Y'all have made my YouTube experience one of the best. Once again, this is Lumiere Hair um, Loose Wave 28, 26, 24 inch bundles with a 20 inch frontal. All details will be listed below in the um, description bar, along with frequently asked questions and more information about my social media networks. And I thank you guys so much. Goodbye.